An update from a particular bank called Citi. Citi expanding its retreat from Russia, saying in a quote, in a statement just moments ago, we are moving with urgency to complete our assessment of our operations in Russia. We have also decided to stop soliciting any new businesses or clients and continue to reduce our remaining operations and exposure. Bloomberg Shanali Bassak on top of this one. Shanali, good morning. Good morning, John. As you know, Citigroup really does have the largest of the exposures of the big U.S. banks when it comes to Russia. It has almost $10 billion worth of loans, assets, and other exposures with Russian companies as well as the Bank of Russia. That's the operative word there. Remember, Citigroup is a placement agent on some of the debt that is coming due of Rus Russian sovereign debt. So that is going to be closely watched by the market here. But remember also, Citigroup also has 3,000 some employees when it comes to Russia. That is leaps and bounds bigger than the other banks. Goldman Sachs has about 80. JP Morgan has a couple of hundred. Morgan Stanley has about 20. So moving all of those uh, employees is going to be a difficult task as well. So what do we make of it here? It will take some time. The banks are still required to make markets when it comes to Russian debt and corporate debt that is not sanctioned. But there is a question of whether they are speculating. Goldman Sachs has already said, come out and said that it would not be. But there is a limitation here to which banks will engage. Shanali, this is about going beyond the consumer business in the country. And to your point on time, they say that in the first paragraph, the decision will take time to execute. You've touched on it. I want to build it out a little bit more. I actually want to sit on the consumer business in the country. There was hope they could sell it. How do you find a dance partner when most of the banks are sanctioned in Russia? Well, that's the key issue. They wanted to exit this operation beginning of April of last year. This was part of the grand exit of many of the operations that they were planning on getting out of. But to your point, the banks that would buy them, some of them are sanctioned. So it is very difficult to find a partner there to exit the operation too. There's also another issue here, at what price? How do you exit an operation, let alone any bond, if you're an investor on Wall Street right now, when it is so hard to find a buyer at the other end? Do you then take the mark down, or how else will you wait it out?